Hello there, today I am going to be showing you how to make batch files with menus. So, I'll show you what I've done already in preparation for this episode. So, I have turned echo off and then I've put a variable here as well as a clear the screen, um, which we'll get into why later. So, then I have it type in enter 1 for a random number, enter 2 for Google, and enter 3 to exit. Then, uh, you're like, how do you get this to accept text or a response? Well, you kinda do, but you kinda don't. So, with this bit here. This here is set slash p answer ans equals, and then in parentheses, enter number. So, if we open this up right now, it's gonna say enter number here. And if we press like 1, it looks like it's working. Press 2, it does the same thing because um, batch files work from top to bottom. So it first has this variable here and then CLS, which clears the screen, and then it types enter 1 for random number, enter 2, and so on. Then it has this here and if answer equals 1, go to 1. So, yeah, how do we tell it to go to 2 now? Well, the way you would do that is with something like this, or this. Um, so, this is basically an if-then statement. So, if your answer equals 1, go to 1. And anything you put inside these parentheses here, um, is basically run, or is run, when you type in 1. But if you were to type in 2, currently it would just skip over this, and then go straight to here, and then eventually loop back up here and do it all over again. So, the way we can tell it to go to 2 now is Control c and then Control v and then we can just replace the 1s oops, with 2s. It's quite simple. So now, it's going to go to 2 if you enter in 2. And of course these variables can be whatever you want. But I'm just using this as an example. So we want it to start up google.com. So what we can do is type in start https colon slash slash www.google.com. So I'm not sure if that's actually necessary now that I think about it or the, all this extra stuff. But anyway, now if we open this up, if we press 2, we should, in our default browser, get google.com. Pretty cool, I guess. Now, if we were to type in 3, it's going to do the random number, because we haven't set up 3 yet. So to set up 3, we do the same thing as before, whereas, paste in this, and then we change the twos out for our three. So now it's going to go to three to exit. And you'll see the way I've exited is the variable three has nothing after it. So, oops, now if we open this up, we can type in one, give us a random number, and then we'll loop back to this main menu here. And if we type in three, it will close. Quite simple. But for example, say we want to hide this pause here in this one, what we can do is null. I think I went over this in the last episode, I'm not entirely sure. And now it's hiding the press any key to continue, and then if you press enter it goes straight back. Now that's no good because it's still showing this up here which we don't want, so what we can quite easily do is CLS and then control S, save it. Now if we type in 1, it will clear the screen and then type in the random number. Press enter again and it will bring you back to the menu. And of course all the other commands work, like you can change color uh, before all this. I like 0, oh, 0 A. Um, gives you a nice green uh, the matrix <laughs> best movie ever 
That is not something you are allowed to argue about either. That is a fact. So, deal with it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a really simple thing to do that can save you a lot of time and m make your desktop look a lot better. Just replace all these folders with batch files, basically. Um, because what you can do if you have a lot of things that you need to do with a batch file or batch files, you can actually just copy all of the code, I'll call it, um, from those batch files into these sort of blocks here, where you put in your scripts so like start Google or random numbers or whatever. And that can actually save you a lot of files to have to sort through just to find one thing. Because all you have to do is this here, right? And then type like to google.com. And yeah, batch files can be very useful to have in general, but menus really do make a huge difference. So yeah, thank you for tuning into this video. I will see you all next time. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment below if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, videos in general. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.